But somebody in this building gave me this flower, but the flower is dying. So I'm going to give it to its life. If you make it survive, it's yours. If I said thank you. My name is Dora Aminata Kellogg. So I have a visa to go to England in 1996, where my daughter was. So my daughter said, Mom, you've never been to America. You've traveled all over. Why can't you try America this time? So I said, OK. When I came here, I was with my nephew. The time that I want to go, then we have this rebel war. So I was stopped not to go. They looted my property. They burnt my house, one of my houses. Then they took my mother away. But for the mercy of God, she find her way back. So I applied for asylum. From the asylum, I got my green card. Then after I got my citizenship. Two months after I met just my husband, he was a Marine. Because I told, I told him, I said, I just lost my fiancé. I'm not in for love affairs now. But he was patient with me. Then we end up married. And after my husband died, I work for Simgal Foundation. We work with individuals that are handicapped in their homes. I do, I like the job. Then I'll take them out, I'll take them for lunch. At times I'll take them for dinner, you see? So with that, we bind together. On the 13th of March, I was on my way going to work when I had an accident. It was hit and run. People were surprised for, to see me alive. So my doctor told me, she said, Dora, you don't need to work anymore. She said, one, your condition, you are prone to COVID. Yeah, for now, she said, stop. So that's why I'm not working. COVID outreach program started in response to COVID-19. The goal was to reach out to residents who were impacted by COVID-19 and needed rental assistance, unemployment benefits assistance, food assistance, health assistance, and such and so forth. It got to a stage I, w I couldn't pay my rent because my social security is not enough. I first heard about Dora through um, her property manager who shared her need for assistance. She called, she said, um, I heard about you, how are you doing? And since that time she's been helping. very appreciative. She calls me and she thanks me, even called me a couple days later just thanking me again. You know, to have somebody when you are in need call you and talk to you, that alone is something. That alone is something because we need people to encourage you. But with talking, you feel good. So I appreciate her. No, we have not met in person. Um, of course, um, COVID has enabled us to do so. I'm working from home. We have never met. I'm, I'm longing to meet her. <laughs> Come on in. The door is open. I'm fine, thank nice you. Meeting you. Good to meet you How are you? And here is my mom in Senegal. Okay. My late husband and me. This okay. is my mom. Okay. And this is me and my one of my great grandson. Where are you all from? Sierra, Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm Cameroonian. Oh, yes. well, we are all from West Africa. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the one that speak Creole. Yes. English, oh, well, then English. you know what in they talk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> when I first came to this house, they give me something. And this is what. 
I have for you. Okay, thank you it's life. Thank you so much. Flower is life. So thank it's yours. You. Thank you. This is a very uh, great moment for us to meet. It was a very exciting moment for us to meet. It takes one moment, one incident, one pandemic for someone's life to be, to turn around. And there are so many people like me that needs help. So if they can help, let them help. And by their help, we'll be able to survive. We'll be able to have roof over our heads. Donating or a fund like such as this can really help someone who's been knocked down. So I'm appealing to all donors for them to donate.